it turns out that if we plot, or if we first uh, square our delta x's, and then plot those versus delta y, we get a graph that's pretty much linear, except maybe for this first point. And I'll simply note that this first point is kind of sensitive to the position where the ball hit when it dropped straight down. And if we just nudge the ball a little bit, we could be off quite a bit in that position. And that might explain a little bit of why uh, this particular delta x uh, isn't, isn't quite exactly the same, uh, or isn't quite exactly in the same line as the rest. But the rest of these, uh, the change from here to here to here to here, each of these changes in delta x squared is pretty much the same. And, and from 83 up to 228 isn't that much different. This is around 140, the rest around 170 or 180. Uh, there's not a drastic difference in the changes here. And of course these numbers change by approximately the same amount each time. So, and remember the 3.3 is a little bit suspicious. If you do this experiment carefully, uh, you should find that your delta x squareds should be pretty much linear with respect to your delta y's. Now, why should delta x squared be uh, linearly, linearly related to delta y, or maybe even delta x squared might even be proportional to delta y.